yo. I love you, Ferris. Cause like, yo, you went hard. And every time I go to a Jamaican clinic, that they're like, you can't be Nigerian here. <laughs> I'm like, huh. and I'm on deportable. <laughs> but uh, I have a struggle accent because Karen. And every time I go somewhere and I'm like, hey, I'm like, oh gosh. Oh, that's a foreigner. <laughs> Like, I walk in and they can tell, right? Like, number one, this. I went to Nigeria and I went to the market because I wanted to buy some Ankara, right? So I could look amazing. And as soon as I walked into the market, the prices doubled. <laughs> and all I thought was, oh, I have 10 times the money, so double up the price. <laughs> It's part of my privilege, and I brought it here, and I'm happy to spend the money. But uh, Karen, I don't know if your name's Karen, but that's what we're going to call you today. <laughs> I have a whole ton of white friends, and none of them are allies. Yeah, I know, because allyship is wishy-washy, almost like a man. <laughs> it means like you're in when it's good, and you're out when it's not. And so is the president of Black Lives Matter. Yeah, I'm gonna say all of that. I need an accomplice. We're going down together or we ain't doing nothing. So I want to encourage all of you, get an accomplice. I am, I'm tall, I don't know if you noticed. I only make giants also. Um, my babies are here, where are they? Thank God, they can't hear this. Um, to be honest, I make the most beautiful children ever. I have a pretty family. Uh, when I was young, I have two younger brothers, but when I was young, uh, the brother after me was handsome, and then the baby brother was cute, and then they were like, we have a girl. Yeah, because I was not that cute. I'm the ugly one in the family. I know you don't believe it because you think I'm cute today, but uh, my brother would come here and blow me out of the water. Uh, and I make beautiful children or else I have to send them back. <laughs> but uh, I look like a dog compared to those bitches. <laughs> Thank you, Ferris. Ferris laughed at that joke, so there you go. When I said that I'm tall, and I walk in and people are uncomfortable, they talk about my shoes. And I'm like, you think I'm going to take off the shoes and I'm 5'5"? Five five? <laughs> what is that? What? I'm still going to be giant size, um, but like you like these shoes? So I, don't, I don't need anybody to get a, an extra prize over there. Uh, I wear heels because at 10, I had a size 10 foot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who wears a size 10 here? No, 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 we don't, no, ten, no. no. Anybody over a size 10? No, but get, I'm coming to your closet. I'm coming to your closet. I love these are the walking shoes. Yes. Uh, and so I feel like Bigfoot can wear any shoe they want. Right? Yeah. But really, they were trying to help me. Get ready. They were trying to help me because there's a vagina height requirement and this is too high off the ground. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. But guess what? Anybody can get on their knees. <laughs> That's as many as I'm gonna get today. That's as many as I'm gonna get today. I had to be I'm the blue comedian. I had to bring some of it. To bring a little bit. Eh? Eh? And I don't know if it gets any good. Oh the bike rider. Listen, they were playing the music. So and you came up here and we thought Oh, he's at the wrong festival. <laughs> but then I thought, he's dancing, it's bike dancing. And um, please don't break your neck because I could not do any of that. So thank you. Um, I said that I have like all these kids. Uh, the second time around I got pregnant is on birth control. Okay, I want everybody to hear this because birth control is important, it's health care. Okay, health care is clean. And so there's this thing called the NuvaWig. It's localized birth control. Anybody who has a uterus, don't use that. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a shield, like ping, 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 ping. No, 
know it's a target two of them got in. So I have two. Yeah, somebody should have told me my mom is a twin. I get to go. My dad is a twin. Fraternal. And Nigerians, because I'm one of them, have the most incidents of twins in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, I'm sorry, I just had to say that out loud. I had to say that out loud. I shut down the factory, I told you. I had a hysterectomy. Um, and if anybody wants to, you know, take a ride, let me know. We can date. We can date. I'm a single person. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm single, looking for a partner. You must be this tall to ride the ride. <laughs> okay, maybe this tall, right? But um, I feel like here in Calgary, we want to be collaborative, right? We want to work together. No, <laughs> nobody clapped for that. So you don't want to work with me? Is that personal? <laughs> I'm totally joking. I'm totally joking. I know y'all want to work with me because you're here and working with me. Um, Calgary provides me with many awkward opportunities. Yes, yes. And I feel like some of, some people understand that because of COVID. But before COVID, I was having all these awkward experiences. Hey. Hi, and it, oh, we don't do that anymore. We pound now. Obama said we pound now. <laughs> Sometimes I listen to a man. Everybody listens to Obama, right? I mean Michelle. <laughs> also, but I'm really a hugger. And so I promise I'm code free. Who wants a hug? I need a little person for a hug. And it, Karen, come. I'm, I'm doing two hugs. Karen and, and, then, and then you. And then anybody else who wants a hug after can get a hug after. Here we go. Okay, one moment, one moment. It's a whole thing. Let's hug! I'm probably not single in my dreams for about two weeks now. Uh, but what often happens is that people will come and touch me from behind. Yeah. Just like, bam! And I didn't really know what was happening. I know Michelle is real concerned for me, but I'm okay because I'm here, right? We're good, we're good, we're good. There's no trauma in that at this moment. Uh, but I found out what's happening. The bum bum talks. Yes, yes it does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you see a little bit. You have to look at my bum. <laughs> Consent, okay? If you don't want to see, Close your eyes. Don't imagine it. <laughs> My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I'd have to charge. <laughs> it's my name is Sessuous. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, give me one more time and statue. This concludes our comedy show. We want to thank you guys Aww. for being such an amazing audience. Give it up for yourselves one more time. Do me a favor. Whatever event you are doing here today, hashtag it, post it, promote it, and let's see you all back here with a another Black Fest. Sound good, everybody? Yes! Thank you so much. My name is Sterling Scott. I've been your host and MC, but don't go nowhere. We have some people coming up to say a few words. Once again, I'm out of here. Thank you, go guys. A round of applause. Next up, we have the amazing Tala that's going to do some spoken word for us, so no one move. And we're going to invite her up to the stage. Nice. Hello, everyone. Hello. I didn't want to be there. I wanted to be right here. Yeah, that's good. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Oh, everyone looks so pretty. Aww. And you know, like, the sun was slightly covered by the clouds, you know, which is nice because we're in a social yeah. nation. Yeah. Oh, that's so powerful. You can figure out why. If you, if you figure out why, tell me, tell me afterwards. 
Uh, yes, I've got a couple poems for you. You got time. Okay, cool. Go, go, go. Just say me. I don't know. Okay, this first poem is called People. Um, it's basically a poem about empathy, which I feel is a really important thing. Let's talk about empathy. Let's talk about living by a code that has nothing to do with numbers, but everything to do with feeling for another. Talking about living by what there is to gain versus how you can be given. And I do not stand here as a judge. There is no jury or executioner. The guillotine will not fall on the necks of those just trying to help themselves. But instead, the sun will rise to illuminate the reality of give and take. One-way streets don't exist when it comes to life. We're all walking different paths of the same road, leading to the same goal, happiness, at the same time. So why not give a high five to those we pass by because we know the path they walk is by no means easy. Give an opportunity. Take a chance. We're all walking in a forest where the choices can be plucked like fruit from the acres of decisions we always have to make. We take bites of the fruit, we swallow the juice of our consequences, whether they're sweet or sour, tangy or bitter. We engulf these delicious produces of the whole earth and they sit at the pits of our stomachs waiting to be absorbed. And then we move and we move on again. Back to the road where we pass by each other again, each of us just digesting what it means to be human. And that is the first one. Your favorite poems, please enjoy. <laughs> Color is vibrant, rhythmic, mystic. We dance in the changing shadows and glisten in the light. Our skin is papyrus and our lives the ink that bleeds into our children and their children and their children. Our legacy etched into the ages in an hourglass filled with earth flowing through time. I was born of the earth mother and her pigment runs through me. From rich wet earth to scorching Sahara and every tone of golden brown in between and entwined. Every hue capable of being captured by the human eye. I and the strong men and women oppressed for their pigment taught images of prejudice that sit at the front of our consciousness. The little white boy afraid of the boogeyman grows up to be a cop, gun at the ready, afraid of the hooded, hooded figure with his hands up, just telling him to stay steady. We are the children of color who are gunned down for being more than our kind. Because a little black boy running around with toys doesn't belong in this world. And in a world where their kids can go around killing mine, and I'm not saying it's all of you, but I know it's not just me. But when have you had to be scared of what you were born into this world, what the world has already decided what you will be? To be ashamed of your skin or you're doing the most. When you speak of black excellence, trying to say your life matters, but all they hear is we matter most. To be seen as human, not a different entity is all we ask, no. To be treated like we are human is what we demand. And we aren't weak because we will still push back, regaining our confidence, slowly reclaiming our swag. We're not suddenly offended. It's always been wrong. We're here and we're not going away. Open your eyes. This is Melon and Strong. We are all the same players, but the rules need to change. Don't shrug us off and call it the race car because we will play it every day until you realize that this is not good. Thank you. Thanks, you Appreciate it. That was nice. I like that. Billy, this is the end of it. This is the end of the program. It was fun. It's been a beautiful day, and that is the end of it. Oh, my God. Thank you. So it's the first one they will have, and I've enjoyed myself. Now I'll be going home by myself, just walking. Hmm? No more taunting up. But it's been a beautiful day. And actually there are great turnouts, which is awesome. That's always beautiful when people come out and support.
Peace out. I'm tired. And the sun has come down, so it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful evening. I'm gonna enjoy the ride home back to my house so I can oh yes so I can complete some work it's been a good day I wish my sister had come but she you guess it bye now I'm in downtown oh my goodness I only have a few seconds left but I came to this waterfall Oh, so the train is coming in 30 minutes, so I decided to take a walk. I cannot come and die, so enjoy this sound, this breeze. It's very cool, actually. I remember I used to walk around this park, like when I go to, when I went to uh, some upgrading back in high school. I remember I used to come here. It's very beautiful. Yes, it's so beautiful. <laughs> like I can literally sit down here like everybody else. I have time, I would literally like to do like a posting video here because it's very so awesome. Oh. But it's nice. I should probably go before I use my phone because that would not be good. I think the next one is coming like 30 minutes or something. I think that will be my outing for today. It's been a fun day. <laughs> yeah, the kids are having too much fun. I feel like the bus, the train will come and I will be running because this place feels so nice, so free. Cool. You know what I mean? But I'm like, I'm watching the train. If it comes right now, you're running. I reached my maximum limit to record video. I have so many videos on here that I need to record that I've been, I've been so lazy. Not lazy, but you not know, tired. I have so many videos, but I don't know. Maybe if I see, see another scenery and I'll, I'll do a, I'll take a quick video again. But this has been kind of free. Lively free good. I'm two tons off. And this I'm I'm two tons off. Yeah. You get it, you get it. If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> but it's like the weather is special today. You come out, you get a little bit of vitamin D or more, and you become central. Like I'm two tons off. Yeah, too excited, too like, too, very calm, very calm, very especially calm, yeah, right now that's what I'm feeling like, calm, the event is good, I'm good, I'm going home. Fix my back because I am not... Like if you see it right now, it's not the most amazing. 
it's not perfect yeah it's damaged so it has like it's three quarter quarter hole and i have to fix it i have the safety pin that i've been using to hold the fourth the fourth part i'm tired yeah, yeah it arrives as, as soon as i got here so that is good Thank you.